in this video series we will learn many things about knowledge graphs starting with raw text we will use llms and generative ai models to extract the entities and the relationships between the entities we will ingest the data uh, into graph databases we will use neo4j and we will also learn cipher graph database language which is similar to sql for relational databases and we will query the databases uh, using cipher we will also query the database uh, in natural language for that we will fine tune the llms so that the llms can convert uh, the natural language questions into cipher language which we will use it uh, to query the databases and then uh, we will also build a couple of graph ml uh, applications we will create node embeddings uh, so that we can find similar nodes uh, we will also create graph features which we can use uh, in uh, other uh, classical uh, machine learning use cases as features and then we will use lang chain uh, to create applications like chatbot on top of graph databases okay so we will be learning a number of things all about uh, graph knowledge graphs in this playlist all right uh, so in this channel we will learn everything uh, through hands on tutorials uh, we will do the same in this playlist as well okay today uh, let's assume uh, we work for a uh, recruiting company uh, so we receive lots of resumes Uh, whether in the form of word or pdf documents and then we convert let's say we have extracted the raw text from all those resumes so here is one example okay so let's say this guy title is front end developer and then uh, the guy worked at a chino ca and he has some text about uh, his authorization and he also worked at uh, worked as a front end developer at venzi media uh during this period uh, so and so forth right so this is a classical uh, example of a resume and here uh, we have a another resume right so this guy he works as a innovation designer for visual web and motion applications okay so he worked in new york uh, etc right uh, he has the company url or maybe his a uh, profile url Uh, so and so forth so these uh, resumes typically contain uh, their skill set uh, where they worked uh, their education qualification uh, and all the information right so since we are this recruiting company uh, so we have uh, a number of resumes in the form of uh, this raw text files so what we are going to do is we will use large language models to build knowledge graphs with this schema so we will have these five entities uh, which are the person the person has uh, uh, some education uh, some skills and they also hold some positions at some companies okay so these are the five entities uh, we will be extracting from the raw text and then uh, we will build these four relationships okay now this companies uh, we can make a direct relationship between the person and the company for example person work debt company right but this is a different uh, 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 i mean uh, not every node has to connect to a central node we might have some complex scenarios uh, so this is one such case right all right after extracting these entity uh, relationships we will ingest the data into graph database uh, which will look like this so for example here uh, we have a bunch of uh, uh, uh resumes uh for each resume we have extracted uh, the person the skill set they have the companies uh, they worked at uh, uh, their education qualification so and so forth right so here we have these multiple resumes if you look one resume uh, this is how it looks like uh, we are going to explore all this in detail uh, step by step so here is one resume so this person all the blue ones uh, these are the skill sets and he worked as a developer at this company and these uh, three are uh, the person's qualifications okay and this is fully interactive uh, we can query it uh, using cipher language 
and we will also build applications on top of uh, uh, these graph databases using long chain and gradio uh, which will look like this so this is a chatbot where uh, we can ask the question so this uh, question in natural language it's get converted into cipher in the back end and then the cipher uh, query run on the graph database and it will return the results uh, in a natural language now this is a chatbot uh, so we can ask follow-up questions okay so it know the context of the previous questions we asked okay so we are going to learn all this uh, step by step uh, in this uh, uh, playlist and many more things all right so um, we will be using uh, vertex ai from a google cloud platform for uh, llm models right uh, so you need to install a couple of libraries like google cloud ai platform and we will be using langchain to build the chatbot and neo4j for the database and gradio for the chatbot okay uh, a couple of other uh, uh, dependent libraries all right uh, then uh, create a google account uh, google cloud account all you need is just uh, gmail and when you create a gcp account for the first time google is offering 300 dollars worth of credit uh, but it must be consumed within the first three months after three months uh, it will expire and you will be charged so be careful uh, if you already have an account and your credit expired so you can create a project and i just removed my project id but so give your project uh, id and the location and then import the vertex ai and initialize the vertex ai with the project id and the location all right uh, by the way the code for uh, this playlist uh, it uh, it's coming from neo4j partners okay so i did not write uh, uh, this code uh, we are uh, using uh, the notebooks uh, developed by neo4j partners so thanks to them for putting uh, uh, these nice uh, notebooks all right so the most complex thing is extracting the entities and the relationships from this very unstructured raw data right i mean different people they structure their resume in different ways some might use tables some might have uh, uh, maybe colons or some might uh, have free form of text uh, etc right some might use two columns uh, etc etc so we have this very unstructured raw form of text now how do we extract these uh, entities and the relationship is the most difficult task so for that we are going to use uh, the large language models uh, and then we need to be able to extract uh, what we want for that we need to design these careful uh, prompts okay so let's go into these prompts in a bit more detail so the first thing we want to extract from the resume is uh, this person uh, entity or the node all right so uh, uh, let's see what output we want to extract so this is the output we want to extract uh, each node will have a label and an id once we have extracted the entities we will be using the ids uh, to create the relationships between the nodes okay so the label and id are a must for each node okay so here the label is person uh, the id is uh, it can be anything uh, a unique id okay it's a string and then each node can have some attributes so in this case we have an attribute called role uh, what's the person title uh, in this case it's a prompt developer and then we have a description okay so the description it's a one line a summary of uh, who what the person or uh, what uh, his uh, uh, skill set is okay uh, so we have two mandatory attributes the label and id and then uh, for this note we have uh, two additional attributes called role and then the description okay so given a resume 
for person entity this is the information we want to extract using llms okay for that uh, we will be creating uh, this template uh, uh, prompt template okay all right so uh, uh, this is the data type or the schema type of thing uh, will uh, so here we have a label as a person and then id is a string role is a string and also the description is a string now our prompt is so from the resume text for a job aspirant below and here comes the important part extract entities strictly okay so we are trying to extract the entities and this strictly is also very important okay so here we have the instructions a couple of instructions so the first one we are saying first look at the person entity type in the text and extract the needed information as defined below okay so we will be looking for only person entity as you know the resume contain many entity types right maybe the positions the companies the places uh, uh, or the universities these are all different types of entities but through this prompt we will be extracting only the person entity okay and then here we are saying create an id uh, this must be alpha numeric okay and must be uh, unique and then uh, so we don't need to say this but here we are saying we are going to use this id to define the relationship between different entities okay and we are saying never create a new entity types that aren't mentioned below okay so we are extracting uh, this uh, factual information from the resume right and what we are extracting through this person should only be about person so that's the reason why we used uh, strictly here and then here we are saying never create a new entity type that isn't mentioned below okay and then here we are saying document must be summarized and stored inside the person entity okay and the field is the description property okay all right and the second instruction we are giving is so the description property uh, should be crisp uh, text summary and must not be more than 100 characters okay so the description we are uh, we are extracting it should be no more than 100 characters and should be crisp and concise and then if you do not find any information on the entities and the relationship uh, it's okay to return empty value so don't hallucinate or try to cook up something right uh, do not create a uh, fictitious data right so otherwise sometimes if uh, L the llms uh, they have the well-known problem of uh, hallucination if they don't know the answer they'll make up an answer right so we are saying if you don't find the answer it's okay simply return empty value but don't uh, make up anything and then do not create duplicate entities okay from each resume extract only one person right and then restrict yourself to extract only person information okay we will be extracting all other uh, nodes or entities uh, through other prompts so for this prompt we are only focusing on person information okay so and again we are explicitly saying no position company education or skills information should be focused all right i never impute missing values okay so the output should be in the form of this json uh, with two mandatory variables like the label and the id and two uh, optional or additional arguments uh, or sorry additional attributes like role and the description which must not be more than 100 characters okay then here we are saying so this will be the resume uh, c text or the context text so we will be replacing this c text with the actual content of the resume and then our question is now extract the person for the text below okay so that's our uh, prompt to extract this person entity from a given raw text like this okay so 
spend as much time as you can to understand each and every sentence here uh, because everything is so important so that's how we are extracting the person and we'll do similar thing a uh, similar prompt uh, to extract the position now one slight difference is when we are extracting the position we will also be extracting the company so we will be extracting two entities and also the relationship between them uh, from the second prompt okay so uh, the overall structures uh, is similar uh, so this is the output uh, we want to uh, generate so uh, the entities uh, the label is position and it will have an id and then uh, additional attributes are uh, what is the title uh, the location the start date and the end date okay so the person might have worked at uh, have uh, might worked at multiple companies so we might have multiple positions and then here is another example so the label is still the position but it will have a different id okay because it is a different position but and then uh, title location start date end date um and then we have the company node okay so we uh, that refers to the position and then we have the company so again for the company also we'll have the label and a unique id and the company name uh, is the additional attribute okay so similarly for position 2 we have a, a second company now the relationship so that's the entities part right so that's the entities part and then for the relationships part it's uh, the position at company 1 uh, sec uh, the position 2 at company 2 okay so this is the type this is the output format uh, we want to uh, extract uh, through this prompt now again for a given resume uh, extract the entities and the relationship so this time we are including the relationship strictly as instructed below okay so first look for the position and the company types in the text okay and extract the information in comma separated format now the position entity denotes the person's previous or current job right uh it could be the previous or current job so we will be extracting all the positions uh, the person hold at different companies now the company node is the company at which the position uh, is held okay and this one is related to id it's uh, same for all the prompts it should be unique and it's an alpha numeric uh, etc now this time you will generate as many entities as needed right uh for a given resume will have only one person right but when it comes to the positions and the company they work for uh, they might have multiple positions right so that's why here we are saying you will have to generate as many entities as needed whereas here we said there will be only one entity all right so this is the schema uh, 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 the label and the label is position and it will have an id and the attributes are title location start date uh, end date and a url if the company uh, uh, if the resume has the company url so this is a comment it simply says it's a position node and similarly for the for the company we have the label and id and the only attribute is uh, the company name uh, and uh, this is again the comment and the next couple of instructions are next generate each relationship as a triplet so triplet meaning will have position at company and the company name so these three are ids okay so we will use ids when generating the relationships okay this is what uh, is called a triplet now relationship title refer to the head and tail entity use their uh, respective ids uh, never create new relationship types that are mentioned again we want to create a relationship which is at company right and this relationship uh, is position at company and the company name or id right so we don't want uh, the llm to extract any new relationship which is not mentioned here so the only relationship mentioned here is at company right and these uh, four 
or common instructions to uh, all the prompts right so if you do not find any information again please return empty do not hallucinate do not create any fictitious data and do not create duplicate entities okay and do not extract uh, education and skills because these are also entities right so we want entities only of type position and the company and do not miss out any position or company related information okay i never impute any missing values okay so this prompt uh, again we will be replacing uh, the actual resume content uh, with uh, this variable c text uh, and with this prompt we will be extracting these two uh, nodes the position and the company and their relationship between them which is at company okay so by now we have extracted the person entity position and company entities and one relationship so we still need to extract these two entities and create these three relationships okay all right so let's look at uh, the skills all right so for the skills uh, this is the json uh, format uh, we wanted uh, which is again the label is skills uh, it each skill will have an id and it will have two attributes which is the skill name and the skill level okay all right uh, again we are saying okay process this resume and uh, extract the entities as strictly uh, instructed below so look for the prominent skills so this time we will be looking for skills entities and these couple of lines are about ids and the schema will look like this so the label id uh, a skill name and the skill level never impute any missing values now uh, the skill level are not all resumes they explicitly state the skill level right so here what we are going to do is if skill level is not mentioned uh, assume it as expert okay or if the experience with that skill is more than 5 years uh, we treat that as expert if it is between 2 to 5 years uh, we treat that as uh, intermediate otherwise beginner so skill with experience below two years we treat that as beginner okay all right so the factual information we will be extracting it is how many years of experience they have and we are converting that number of years of experience into level using uh, these if they have above five years or uh, below five years or uh, between two to five years or below two years okay and finally uh, the education prompt so uh, this is the format uh, the label is education and it will have an id and the additional attributes are degree a graduation date and uh, the score okay this one is very similar to uh, the skills one uh, again here we have the schema uh, so uh, these are uh, the standard one uh, if you do not find don't hallucinate don't duplicate uh, strictly extract only education uh, no skills or other entities uh, do not miss out any education related entities i never impute uh, the missing values all right so these through this prompt we are extracting uh, these two uh, entities and then we can easily create uh, this relationship this person has this education and this person has this skill okay all right so we have four prompts to extract five entities and one relationship so using vertex ai the language models uh, here we are importing this text generation model okay so we are defining a function here uh, with a bunch of uh, variables but the most important variable is uh, this temperature now if we are doing any creative writing uh, we might use higher temperature but since we are extracting factual information from the resumes we will set the temperature to zero meaning uh, it will extract only what is uh, inside uh, the text uh, without any creativity or uh, variations uh, type of things now in a previous video i explained about these uh, additional attributes uh, again since we are extracting factual information uh, these are not important just leave them uh, to the default but these variables essentially 
uh, the large language models they will be creating uh, a bunch of words uh, for the next word right now which word we pick from those bunch of words generated depends on the top p top k temperature uh, etc values okay so we access the model uh, using the text generation model so from the text generation model uh, we are using this pre trained model the model name is uh, this text bison uh, so this is one of the llm models from google uh, it's a very cheap model i don't remember the price but uh, it cost hardly few cents okay um, it's a very cheap model uh, cheap in terms of price not accuracy so we have the model now in case if you have a fine tune model uh, we are accessing the fine tune model uh, we will see in uh, a third video how to fine tune a model but for the time being we are using the base model as it is and then we simply call this model uh, model dot predict uh, we supply the prompt and these additional attributes okay so this will return as the response so then uh, here we are creating this additional function uh, to extract the entity sign relationship uh, which basically call this function real uh, which basically run this text model function okay so run this text model function uh, so we need to provide our project id i mean we have already initialized uh, the vertex ai uh, but in case if we haven't done uh, the, here we are again initializing using the project id and location so that's what it is and then our temperature is zero our model name is uh, this text bison at zero zero one so this is i think the model generation version all right so we simply run it and we will get this result back uh, this function it simply we are simply cleaning the text so throw this one uh, so the resume can contain uh, some uh, uh, special characters right so as you can see here uh, we have some special characters so this function it uh, consider the ascii values uh, between 0 to some something like 127 which is this alpha numeric characters and it just remove uh, the i mean it replaces all the non ascii characters uh, with this uh, 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 empty uh, character okay so here we have a sample resume uh, it says uh, the developer uh, this guy worked at Tata Consultancy Service. Uh, so this is location, Botavia. And they seem to have some database systems, database administration, security, editing, uh, some, some skill set. Uh, I'm sure there is, uh, uh, there are uh, different company names he worked, what are the skill sets. Uh, so here we have the university's information, uh, etc. Okay. All right. Now, <laughs> These are the four templates we created, right? So we, we have a template for extracting the person and then the position and the company, uh, then the skill set and then the education. So we are going to call the model four times, uh, each time with one prompt to extract one or more entities, okay? So here in the prompt template, uh, we are uh, cleaning up the text so the sample uh, question or the resume so this is uh, the sample resume so this resume we are replacing uh, in c text the context text before passing it to the model okay uh, so here we are substituting the c text with the actual resume so we have created the, the prompt where we have all the instructions as well as the resume and then we are calling the function extract entities and relationships okay so this is the function we are calling which in turn is calling uh, this function the main code is uh, accessing the model and then model dot predict with the prompt okay so as we described in the prompt uh, each prompt will be extracting a node in a predefined uh, format like this. Okay. All right. So uh, here we have uh, the extraction or the output from LLMs. Now, in all this 
code. Uh, it would be tedious to go line by line, but we are simply processing uh, the extracted text or the LLM's output, which will be in the form of, uh, for example, uh, for the person, uh, it will be in the form of uh, this dictionary, right? With these curly brackets, uh, the list uh, uh, symbols, uh, etc. These colons, etc. Right? And similarly, for the uh, position and uh, uh, the company. Uh, it would look, uh, it would be in this uh, format, right? So here what we are doing is, we are simply processing, uh, processing that output, okay? We are simply processing that output. And in the prompts, we have created only one relationship, which is between the position and the company. Now we need to create three additional relationship uh, between the person and education. Uh, the relationship is the person has education, the person has skill and the person has position. So we need to create these three relationships, right? So here, uh, uh, yeah, so we have defined this results, uh, uh, an empty dictionary uh, with two elements. One is entities and the relationships, okay? So the entities part we have already done and the relationships part, a relationships uh, we have extracted one relationship right between the company and the position now here we are creating the three remaining uh, relationships so we are simply going over the results which is the output from uh, the llm model of the processed output from llm model and then uh, we are creating uh, the relationship so if uh, the label is position then we are creating uh, the relationship between the person and uh, uh, the position with the relationship has position. So this person has this position uh, and this is the position ID. And similarly, this person has this skill and the skill ID. So here we are looking for label skill, right? And finally, uh, the person has this education, okay? Uh, so that's how we created the remaining three uh, relationships. So finally, the results will look like this. Okay, so the results is a dictionary. Uh, it will have entities and relationships. Uh, it's a bit hard to see here. So I have copied the output uh, to my VS code. Uh, let me show, I think, yeah, this one. All right, so for a given resume, uh, this is what we have extracted in the end uh, using LLMs. So we have entities, uh, we have five entities and each entity will have a label and an ID, right? For example, this is a person entity. So we have a label and ID. This is a position entity. Uh, the label is position and ID. This is a company entity, company and ID. And then uh, we have uh, for example, a uh, skill uh, entity. So we have skill and ID and we must have education as well uh, after the skills. I have just uh, formatted this so that we can easily visualize. So here we have a education and a, its ID. Okay. So each entity will have two mandatory attributes. One is uh, its label and the ID. And then for the person, uh, as we designed in the prompt, we are extracting what is the role and then uh, this 100 character description, okay? Similarly for position, we have what is the title, location, start date and end date. And then for the company, uh, what is the name? For the skill, we have two attributes. One is the skill name, one is the skill name and then uh, this level. Uh, remember, if the experience is above five years, it's expert. If it is between two to five years, it's intermediate. And below two years, it's uh, something like beginner, I think. Okay. And then we have for education, uh, we have the degree, university, graduation date, and the score. Okay. Because each person, so there will be only one entity per the person. Uh, there can be multiple entities for the position, depending on how many positions or how much experience the candidate has but everyone will have multiple skills, right? So that's why here you will see uh, many skill entities, okay? For a for that one particular person, okay? 
all right so these are all uh, entities and then uh, when it comes to relationships we have four types of relationship uh, one is between this position and company right the position at company so if i go back here so we have position at company all right then uh, the person has position person has position at company name and then person has multiple skills so these are all the skills and then we have has education so the person has uh, this education okay all right so we have started with raw text uh resumes like this one like this one and then we have created we have defined a schema we know what entities and the relationships we want to extract and then we have very carefully designed uh, these prompts with very clear instructions what to do and what not to do for example uh, don't hallucinate don't extract uh, information i am not asking uh, if you don't find anything return empty values so we should be as clear as possible because here we are trying to extract a factual information rather than generating some generic text right so we have designed uh, four prompts for extracting five entities and one relationship and then we have used uh, a text generation model or llm from google vertex ai uh, we run the model with four different prompts and we have extracted uh, so here we have a sample resume we have replaced this uh, resume content uh, with the variable c text in the prompts and then we ran the model uh, we have processed the output from llms uh, to extract uh, the entities and the relationships and the output uh, look like this okay all right one major task is done in the next video uh, we will convert this information uh, to cipher uh, insert statement so that we can ingest the data into uh, graph ml sorry graph database uh, that's all for this video uh, uh, thank you very much